Godzilla versus Superman. Their first battle ended with Godzilla blasting Superman and practically killing him as he saved a young Billy Batson. But now we're at the finale to the series. All the Titans have been called, the League of Assassins have revived from the dead many of Skull Island's former monsters, and Batman has a giant mech. How will the Justice League end this bout? This is Godzilla vs. the Justice League vs. Kong, issue number 7. Lois watches from the Watchtower monitors as the battle rages far below. She yells over the comms system, trying to tell the Justice League that Clark has disappeared, but suddenly there's a bright light behind her, and when she turns, she sees Clark floating in space, his body glowing. In moments, he's inside and they embrace. We thought you were, she tries to say, but Clark explains that he was very weakened. Luckily, Batman and Cyborg managed to use a boom tube to transport him to the sun, which allowed his body to supercharge. Clark steps back from Lois and looks at her, finally asking what he has been trying to do since the beginning of this adventure. Will you marry me? He asks. Shockingly, she says yes in the two kiss. Finally, she pulls away. After you take care of this mess, you've missed a lot. Meanwhile, Deathstroke and Cheetah have finally found Toy Man's corpse at the bottom of one of Godzilla's footprints. That's what's left of him. Cheetah says as she motions to the squashed body and Deathstroke looks around for a moment. Where's the Dreamstone? Meanwhile, in Metropolis, the battle continues to wage on. The Batazord fighting against Mecha Godzilla, while Kong faces off against the League of Assassins Skullcrawlers. Nearby, Hal Jordan is kneeling over the dead body of Guy Gardner, gritting his teeth for his lost friend, while Jessica Cruz awakens Gar. Hal, we don't have time to mourn. We need to size up again. Jon Stewart shouts, but Hal looks at Guy's hand. His ring is gone. Hal notes, finally standing in the lanterns come together. Kong slams into the King Skullcrawler, knocking him away, and then he leaps to slam into him again and again. But this time, a green Kong is by his side. I got your back, big guy! Gar shouts, but the smaller Skullcrawlers begin to swarm them. The Batazord fires its rockets at Mecha Godzilla before more skull crawlers begin to swarm them. Kara, we could use some help over here. We're not nimble enough to deal with multiple attacks. Cyborg shouts over the comms. Luckily, Kara is there slamming into the small kaiju lizards. Batazord turns it back to Mecha Godzilla, but Lex is already moving, punching them hard, sending them into the ground. Motor function down. We're offline. Batman reports from the cockpit. As Cyborg and Flash work to get the power back online, Batman looks up to see Mecha Godzilla standing over them, a mouth laser flaring to life. We're out of time, Batman tells his friends. But five minutes earlier, Superman arrived at the Legion of Doom headquarters and frees the young Billy Batson. Superman, how? He shouts with joy and Superman explains it quickly as Billy apologizes for everything hugging him. One more piece of advice. Stick to Shazam when we're fighting, okay? Superman says with a smile, and the two heroes leap into the sky, Superman informing Shazam that he'll meet him in Metropolis, and he dives beneath the ocean. Back in Metropolis, Mecha Godzilla's laser flares to life, but Shazam is there slamming into the robot, causing it to blast one of the skull crawlers. Thanks for the assist. Batman says over the comms, as Cyborg gets the power back online and Batazord struggles to its feet. We've got five targets closing and we can't give them our back. Batman says as the Kaiju begin to close in on them. With the Mecha Lantern arriving, the two prepare to fight back. Meanwhile, beneath the ocean, Superman has arrived at where Godzilla is chained. The mighty Titan's eyes glow with anger and Superman understands. The King of the Monsters was never meant to arrive in a world with metahumans. I'm not here for a rematch. I just need you to get mad enough to follow me. Superman says as he hits the Titan before pulling off his chain, beginning to lead him away. Back at the fight, the two Kongs are still battling away, but Mecha Godzilla thunders over and knocks Gar aside. As Kong continues to struggle with the massive skull crawler, its tail wrapping around his throat beginning to squeeze. Kong then roars with anger as the skull crawler leans in close, hissing. The rest of the heroes on the ground look on in surprise as a green glow appears over Kong. The King of the Apes holds up his hand. 
and Guy's ring slides over his finger, creating Green Lantern Kong! Instinctively, Kong creates a green construct axe, which he uses to slice through the Skullcrawler's tail. More charge towards him, but Kong whirls on them, ready for the fight. With the rest of the heroes free to battle, they charge at Mecha Godzilla, with Wonder Woman, Shazam, Donna, and Kara grabbing its arms, pulling them apart! Batazord charges forward, grabbing Mecha Godzilla, lifting it into the air and smashing it down on their knees, breaking it in half! But the massive Skullcrawler isn't done. Not until. There's a massive boom as everyone looks up to see Superman and Godzilla arriving through a boom tube. Godzilla narrowing its eyes on the massive Skullcrawler, roaring its challenge! Here we go. I knew you'd have something to say about this. Superman notes as Godzilla rushes at the Skullcrawler. Godzilla rains down on the creature until he blasts it with his atomic breath. Superman joins in using his heat vision to aid the Titan. Atomic breath and heat vision barreling down on the Skullcrawler and it's Green Lantern Kong who leaps in with a finishing blow, slamming his ax down on the creature's skull. Killing it, kind of obviously. With the battle over, Godzilla roars in victory. The ring flies away from Kong now that it's no longer needed. Superman surveys the battle as his friends rush to see him, having thought that he was dead. He holds up the Dreamstone, explaining that Toy Man was crushed beneath Godzilla's foot right as the Titans arrived on their Earth. I overheard Cheetah and Deathstroke discussing it on the way in. Superman explains. He tells them that the Dreamstone has been stuck to the bottom of Godzilla's foot this entire time. This may be the weirdest week we've ever had. Flash notes, and Batman nods in agreement. Yeah. Superman holds up the Dreamstone, wishing the Titans back to their world, the rest of the heroes gathering the Legion of Doom and placing them under arrest. Here's your so-called leader, Kara says as she holds up Lex, Superman glaring at him. Luther, do yourself and the rest of the world a favor and stay out of my fortress. It's not a toy store, Superman tells him. Later, after the world has returned to normal, Clark and Lois sit in a park in Metropolis, with Lois admiring the engagement ring that Clark gave her. You ready to be Mrs. Lane? Clark asks her with a smile, and she puts her head on his shoulder. So ready, she says, looking out over the city. And that concludes one of the weirdest crossovers ever, but every issue was just so hype, it got me excited. Don't forget to check out the playlist to catch all seven issues of this series, and if you like and subscribe, you'll know when we compile them into a giant video for you to enjoy. Thank you guys for watching the whole series with me, and I will see you next time right here at Comic Storian.